guys, we're back for another fun today. We sure are. It is called... One Snowy Night. Uh, and it is such wishful thinking. And it's a touch and feel book, so the little hat is velvet. Yeah, it's cool. All right, let's set this up. One Snowy Night. The cold wind woke Little Hedgehog from his deep winter sleep. It blew his blanket of leaves high into the air and he shivered in the snow. He tried to sleep again, but he was much too cold. Suddenly, something fell from the sky. Thud! It landed right in front of his nose. It was a present and it had his name on it. To Little Hedgehog with love from Father Christmas. Little Hedgehog opened the present as fast as he could. Inside was a red woolly hat, hedgehog size. He put it on at once. He pulled it to the back. He pulled it to the front. He pulled it to one side, then the other. But it didn't matter how he stretched it to fit. His prickles got in the way every time. But now the hat was much too big for a little hedgehog. He took it off and stared at it until at last he had an idea. He gave the hat a shake and wrapped it up again. He ripped a piece off the label and wrote on the rest. Then he ran to Rabbit's house. Rabbit was out, so he left the present on his doorstep. It was snowing hard as Little Hedgehog tried to find his way back home. The snowflakes flew all around and he wasn't sure which way to go. Oh dear, oh dear, he said as he wandered to and fro. I shouldn't have come out in this weather, but I know Rabbit will be happy to have a nice woolly hat to wear. Too much snow, said Rabbit, rushing home. He saw the present lying on the doorstep. What's this? He squeaked with delight, ripping off the paper. A woolly hat, he cried. For me, he put it on at once. He tried it with his ears inside and then outside. He pulled it this way and he pulled it that way, but it didn't matter how he stretched it to fit. His ears got in the way every time. By now the hat was much, much bigger. It was much too big for a rabbit. So, rabbit wrapped it up Sorry, Rabbit wrapped up the hat once again and wrote on a corner of the label. Then he went to visit Badger. The cold weather made Badger very grumpy. Merry Christmas, Badger, shouted Rabbit. Who's there? growled Badger. Merry Christmas, repeated Rabbit, giving him the present. A Christmas present, said Badger. For me? Badger put the hat on. He pulled it down over his ears. How about that, he said, looking in the mirror. Very nice, said Rabbit. What did you say, said Badger. Very nice, yelled Rabbit, hopping off. Don't you like it, he asked Badger. Tur Badger turned around, but Rabbit had gone. Badger took the hat off. I can't use this hat, he said. I can't hear a thing. Too bad. It's such a nice color. So Badger wrapped up the present and marched off to Fox's house. He didn't use the label. Looks good on Badger, though. Fox was going out exploring. Here you are, friend, said Badger merrily. A Christmas present just for you. Christmas, snapped Fox, puzzled. Yes, Christmas, called Badger. Time to be nice to each other, and he trudged home. A hat, sneered Fox, opening the present. Why would I want a hat? Then he looked at the hat again. He made two holes for his ears, and he put it on. Satisfied. He went on his way. The white fields twinkled in the moonlight. Fox sniffed around and found a small trail. He followed it this way and that way until suddenly it stopped. There was something under the snow. Fox dug and dug until he found a small hedgehog. It was cold and did not move. Poor little guy, said Fox. He put the hedgehog inside the red woolly hat and carried it to Rabbit's house. 
Oh. Rabbit and Badger were having supper. Look what I found in the snow, cried Fox, bursting in. They all looked into the hat. A hedgehog, said Badger. What's a hedgehog doing out at Christmas time? He should be fast asleep. It's my friend, little hedgehog, cried Rabbit. He must have lo gotten lost coming home in the snow. Little hedgehog opened his eyes. Hello, he said sleepily. Oh, this is such a lovely warm blanket. The friends all looked at each other. Rabbit grinned and Fox scratched his head. Hmm, said Badger. I think this woolly hat is just right for little hedgehog. Merry Christmas, little hedgehog, they all cried. But little hedgehog was fast asleep. I guess hedgehogs hibernate. The end. That was sweet. Yeah, it made it all the way back to the hedgehog. The hedgehog never thought of it as a blanket because it wasn't big enough. It was a good book. I'm glad you liked it. Me too. You never thought about it because all the people, all the animals tried it on to stretch yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. So then it got bigger so he could use it as a blanket. Thanks for listening. We enjoyed Don't this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Right on.